In the petrol engine, an air-fuel mixture is compressed by the piston and is ignited by the spark plug. The engine's output is controlled by the throttle valve. At full throttle, the cylinders are filled with mixture, allowing the engine to develop maximum power. Under part load conditions, the throttle restricts the quantity of mixture flowing into the cylinders and the engine's output is reduced. Unfortunately, this throttling of the intake to control the engine's output also has the effect of reducing the volume of mixture filling the cylinders. This results in the compression pressures being reduced and in turn the engine's efficiency. In the diesel engine, only filtered air enters the cylinders. The air is compressed into a much smaller space. A compression ratio of 23 to 1 being quite normal for a diesel in comparison with say 9 to 1 for a petrol engine. By compressing the air so much, it becomes hot, usually reaching 700 to 900 degrees Celsius. Into this hot air, atomized diesel fuel is sprayed by the injector. The fuel is ignited by the heat. It subsequently burns, and as with the petrol engine, the expanding gases force the piston down on the power stroke. Now let's consider how the engine's output is controlled. In the diesel engine, the air supply is not restricted. It's the quantity of fuel injected which is varied. So, when the engine is under part load, only the quantity of fuel is reduced and not the air. Unlike the petrol engine, which is throttled, the cylinders of the diesel are always full of air. In turn, compression pressures are maintained and so is the engine's efficiency.